Hello, Yugi's. Welcome to today's session. Today's session is about uh, grounding. Um, in this flow, in this grounding flow, there are also type of movements that are nerve uh, relieving. So at the end of this session, I hope you will feel more balanced, settled, as well as some um, nerve pain relieved. Um, this flow may also bring some uh, happy endorphins to the brain and body. So at the end of the flow, you will feel more, um, I mean, like relieved with happiness. So, all right, with that being said, let's start. Okay, let's start in easy pose with the legs crossed in front of you and close your eyes, feel the groundness of your body. Uh, take note that where your body makes the connection with the ground and also where the body makes connection with itself. Our feet to our shins, the hands on our knees, and si uh, arms alongside our body. Just to feel this connection. Inhale, curl our tone inward for Sitali Pranayama. It's a cooling breath. Um, for inhale to uh, take the air in through the curl tone like a straw. Exhale, close your mouth and pull out with your nose, creating a sound in the back of your throat like ha. Repeat this cycle for a few breaths. In the meantime, feel the sensation of the breath coming in and leaving your body. Once you are ready, slowly roll one head, roll your head to the right side of your shoulder. Allow the ear to reach the shoulder. Slowly roll to the other side, coming onto our left shoulder. Onto our right shoulder again. Keep like this with your own rhythm. Don't forget about the press. Come back to central and with the hips grounded to the mat, spine up and tall, eyes closed. Let's take a big breath in, lean forward, open up the chest and the heart to the sky, head up, drink in the air with the exhalation, pull out and run through the spine, tuck the chin in and engage the abdominal muscle. Inhale, drink in, lean forward and Exhale, round through. Let's do a couple of rounds like this.
your eyes still closed, your hips rounded, adjust your upper body moving. Come back into stillness, and let's change the placement, uh, the cross of the legs. So whatever legs are in front, just uh, change the positions, and open up your eyes, and let's take a big breath in, raise your arms up, and exhale. Reach the right arm out on the hip side, and. Exhale, reach the left arm to the right side. Externally rotate both arms and pinching the shoulder blades in, in the back. Gaze up to the sky. Inhale, gaze up. Exhale, gaze down. Inhale, gaze up. Exhale, gaze down. And exhale, come back to center. Let's switch sides. Press the left hand out of the uh, left hip. Um, walk the fingertips a little bit away from the hips. Take big breaths in. Exhale, reaching the right hand to the left side. Externally rotate, open up the chest to the sky, look up, breathe, and introduce some neck rows in here. By inhale, look up, exhale, ro look down, gaze down. Inhale, look up, exhale, look down. Next breath, come back to center and hands at heart center in Anjali Mudra. All right, so uh, next, next let's do some spinal, tur uh, spinal twist. Inhale, arms up, exhale, your left hand on the right knee and right hand behind you on the ground. Sit up and tall, imagine this breath extends through the spine all the way up to the crown of the head. Exhale, press the navel into the spine and twist. Look through, look over your right shoulder. Inhale back to center, exhale change sides. Your right hand on the right and left knee, left hand behind. Look straight ahead, Inhale, sit up and tall, exhale, twist. Navel into the spine. Next inhale, exhale, under mudra. All right, let's take a big breath in and exhale, hands interlaced behind our lower back and inhale, chest up, heart open to the sky, little back bend, exhale, lean forward, hand over your head and reaching your forehead to the floor, coming into this seated forward bend with mudra. Don't forget your breath. Inhale, set up. Exhale, release. And now let's come onto all fours. So instead of doing a regular cat and cow, we all do this unusual movement of cat and cow by, um, by relieving some central nervous system. So, uh, come on to all fours. Your uh, shoulders are stacked over your wrists and your hips over your knees. And um, inhale, exhale as you round your spine. 
instead of round your spine and tuck your chin instead of uh, instead of looking down um, extend your neck and look forward keep an easy range of motion don't over stretch here and then next inhale arch the lower back bring the belly down and look down bring your neck into a flexion keep like this for a couple of rounds in your own movement remember don't over stretch it exhale look up round through inhale look down arch the back this counter movement of your cervical spine and thoracic lumbar spine um, is bringing this nerve flossing effect to the nervous system all right at the next breath come back to neutral and press through all the four edges of your arm curl your toe bring your hips up into downward facing dog press your heels down and try to bring the chest toward the sides try practicing um, every time you take inhale you expand your chest exhale reaching the heels towards the floor and stretching out stretching out your whole body next breath in lift your right leg up press through your right heel to the sky and your uh, left foot grounded firmly to the floor your shoulders are square and level exhale bring the right foot in between the hands left knee down untuck the toes both hands on either side of the foot and take an inhale lift the heart up shoulder back exhale surrender deeply into this hip stretch stay here for two more breaths if you want to bring the ground up to meet you uh, you can either come into come onto your fingertips or uh, bring two blocks or stacks of books to bring the floor closer to you inhale lift up exhale surrender stretch all right next exhale try to move the hips back round through the back tuck the chain in and come into this half split pose but we don't stay here in the next inhale we come in front again into a low lunge chest up inhale exhale push the hips back round through the back and tuck the chin in let's do three more rounds like this inhale up exhale back and around next inhale come onto the toes and press the hands come onto three leg dog put the right foot back to meet the uh, left foot and take a big breath in lift the left leg up into the sky press through the left heel 
Next exhale, press the left foot in between the two hands, coming to a low crescent lunge. Untap the toes and inhale, lift up, through the chest, look forward, exhale, stretch deeply into this hip stretch. All right, let's do the five rounds of this half splitting pose. Exhale, round through the spine. Straighten the left leg. Inhale, come forward. Shoulders back and exhale, round. Feel the whole expansion of the back. Inhale, up. Exhale, round. Two more rounds. Inhale. And come into three leg dog once again. Now let's come into a downward facing dog. Stay here for two breaths to cool, uh, to settle. Slowly walk towards the front of your mat and come into a standing forward bend. From standing forward bend, slowly run through the back and press through the feet and coming into a standing uh, mountain pose. Tadasana. In Tadasana, it's really windy today. In Tadasana, um, Let's stay in Tadasana for a few breaths and just feel the, uh, the groundness through the feet, okay? Uh, try to feel the four edges of the feet grounded into the floor. Lift the arches away from the mat. And stand up and tall through the crown of your head. Feel the lifting through the crown of the head. Allow the shoulders to drop away from the ears and hands reach towards the floor. You can keep your eyes closed. And just feel. Feel the sensation of your breath. Feel the groundness. Feel the connection between you and your mat. All right, okay. So I'm gonna stand in the front of, uh, of my mat, of my mat. Okay, from here, open up your eyes. Shift the weight to the right leg and lift the left leg up, left knee up as high as comfortable and uh, find balance. Once you're ready, open up the knee to the side and press the sole of your left foot into the inner side or cuff of your right, right leg. Arms up alongside the ear, coming into this tree pose. Find balance. Your hips are square in front of, uh, to face the front of your room, of your mat. Stay here for one more breath. Then slowly lift the right leg up again, knee facing front. And from here, tilt the torso forward and reach your left leg back backwards until your torso is in line with the floor and the crown of your head and your heel is in a straight line coming into this warrior's three pose 
from here bend your right knee and press down through your left toe and come into this high lunge adjust your stance uh, to make sure that you are stable and your left toes are making firm connection with the ground raise your arms up alongside your ears in this high lunge let's come into warrior, warrior two by rotating your uh, left foot to face uh, to the short side of the mat and your both hands are palms are facing the long side of the mat it's a variation of uh, warrior two um, so listen carefully bend your right wrist to uh, to make the right palm facing the front of your room and bend your left wrist to bring the fingers towards the palm like this like this and bring your ears to the right shoulder it's a very gentle nerve flossing movement I try to uh, do it in an easy range of motion next press shift so the left palm is facing the back side of the room and the right uh, fingers right hand uh, are folded and let's uh, keep switching like this every breath out you switch let's do another three times the last press is coming into a regular uh, warrior two bend the right knee deep deeper and then take a big breath in on your breath out listen carefully come onto your right um, come onto your right leg and coming into the standing split variation listen carefully come onto the uh, both of your right foot tuck your chin in and lift up your next breath inhale um, press the heel down bend both knees look up um, touch the left knee to the right calf look up exhale lift up heel up inhale bend down look forward exhale up two more times <clears throat> next press out meet the left foot to the right foot into a standing forward bend take deep breaths in and out roll yourself up into mountain pose and let's do it on the other side shift the weight onto the left leg and bring your right leg, leg knees up as high as comfortably can and from here flip open your right knee and uh, reach the right sole to the inner side of your left leg press the side and the foot equally into each other uh, alongside the mid lines and, and so that your hips are facing uh, square and facing forward raise your arms up raise your arms up and into tree pose brace here slowly rotate the right leg up 
and tilt the torso forward, bring the right leg back into warrior three. Your whole upper body and your legs are in line with the floor. Slowly bend the left knee and touching the right toe to the floor to meet the floor into high lunge. Your back, your back legs can be straightened or slightly bent. Stay here for a few breaths. Next breath out, come on to your warrior two. Okay, in this uh, irregular uh, warrior two, let's uh, do it again. Facing the both palms into the long side of the mat and flip the right uh, the left hand to face the in front of the room and the fold in the right hand. Bring the ears to the left side of the shoulder. Next exhale, switch. Next exhale, switch. Keep doing like this for another five rounds. All right, come back to back into regular worry to uh, take a big breath in, come onto your left leg and come into, into this standing split. Raise the heels up, tuck the chin in, lift up, inhale, look forward, bend up. In, exhale, lift up, inhale, bend. At the last breath out, meet the right foot with the left foot. Coming into this uh, standing forward bend Uttanasana one more time. <sighs> Slowly round through your back and coming into Tadasana, mountain pose. And from here, from mountain pose, let's uh, come onto Malasana. Your feet a little bit more than hip width, uh, hip width distance and uh, take a big breath in, squat down, bend your knees and squat down, your spine up and tall. You can support yourself by putting the hands on the floor or uh, hands together in front of you in Anjali Mudra and uh, using the elbows push the knees wide apart. Sit up and tall, bring through the, whole, the spine. Your tailbones are reach your tailbone is reaching towards the floor and the crown of your head reaching towards the ceiling. One more breath here. Let's all come onto our backs. From our backs. Extend the left leg out and curl the, um, the right knees in towards our chest. Let's do a variation of uh, reclined hand to big toe pose. So place the hands in the back of the right leg, right side, and flex the toe, flex the right toes when the right leg is bent. Point 
and then straighten the right leg to the sky, pointing, pointing the toes. Keep this movement like this, flex the toes, bend the leg, and pointing the toes, straighten the leg. Another two rounds. Let's switch sides. Extend the right leg, right leg out and bring in the left leg. Place the hands in the back of the side, left side, and let's flex the toes. Straighten the legs, pointing the toes. Flex the toes, bend the leg. Pointing the toes, straighten the leg. Flex the toes, bend the leg. Point the toes, straighten the leg. One last time. Flex the toes, bend the leg. Point the toes, straighten. Okay, let's put our leg down and all come onto the on our belly. Um, place the palms in front of us and come into this big Sphinx pose variation. In this in this Sphinx variation. You don't want to bring too much string into the movement. So just uh, introduce an easy range of motion in, in this flow. Okay, all right, listen carefully. Um, rest the four, four, four arms and the palms in front of you. Inhale, raise the right leg up and look forward, slide, even slightly up. Make sure your uh, pelvic floor and pubic bone is firmly pressing down to the ground. Exhale, place the leg down, round through. Tuck the chin in. Inhale, the other side. Look up. Exhale, round and tuck the chin in. Just like that. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, tuck the chin, round through. Inhale, left. Exhale, round. Another two rounds. Exhale, round. Last one. All right. From here, finally, let's press ourselves up and bring the hips back to meet the heels. Hands, close the knees, hands alongside our body to reach the feet. And come into Balasana, our final pose, child's pose. Relax into this pose. If you don't feel comfortable with hands alongside your body, you can also cross your arms in front of you and make a pillow underneath your forehead. Um, just make yourself comfortable in this pose. Okay, so try soften into this pose. Feel the length along the spine, across the back, from shoulder to shoulder. Rest in and slow down your breath. This is our final pose. So, in this pose, you'll be absorbing all the benefits from this flow.
the groundness and you are finally grounding into inwards to yourself so whatever that is uh, bothering you either from work at work or from life from a relationship from friendship from work from anything um i mean even from my barking dog you just let it go you find yourself the connection to yourself within yourself the groundness that you need this internal peace that you need for yourself let all the disturbance go you don't need them not at this moment this moment you belong to yourself and take some good rest after this flow you deserve it take some mental and physical break from whatever that is um, happening in your life just find yourself some peaceful moments to face yourself to face the true self and now let's slowly press ourselves up into seated put the legs across across in front of us Thank you, my friends, for taking the time out to practice with me. And I hope this uh, nerve soothing and running flow uh, does bring you some kind of internal peace and joy and balance. And um, thank you very much for your time and namaste. See you in the next episode. Bye bye.